comedian, David Boyle, and I'm quitting alcohol. So my daughter has her first crush already. My fucking two-year-old daughter has already got her first crush. This fucking four-year-old kid that's been coming around to our place every day and playing, he's an Irish kid as well. These charming fucking Irish, they just waltz in with their fucking accents. Anyway, this four-year-old's been coming around and playing, and I sort of sensed something strange with my daughter a couple of days ago. She was a little bit shy and looking around corners, seeing what this Ben kid's up to. And then the following day, he came over, and she was, like, excited. And then yesterday, he came over, and she's like, Ben! 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 Ben!" (laughs) Like, fucking nuts. Like, she was so excited. She was blushing. She was, like, screaming his name like he's a fucking rock star. I'm like, no fucking way. You're two. You're fucking two. Can you please give me a few fucking years? Just give your dad a few fucking years before you start getting into boys. Two is too young. I'm putting my foot down fucking relationships in this house at two years old, all right? Especially with a boy twice your age. He's fucking four. I was seriously like, Jesus fucking Christ. The reality of having a daughter has already set in at two years old. Couldn't you have given me until like 12 or 10? Just double figures before you started fucking getting into boys or having crushes. Like when Ben walked in the other day and my daughter was hysterical, my wife was there as well. And I was like, what the fuck is that? I'm like, has she got a crush on this kid? She's like, oh my God, she's got a crush on Ben. I'm like, what the, what? How could that be? How can that even be? And then I'm thinking like, she's just a baby. This is nothing. But fucking... When does it start? When do girls start having like proper crushes on boys? Like 17, 18? Like the start of university? That's what I was hoping. Like 12? 12's too fucking early. What the fuck? 12? What age are you at 12? You're like year 7. Yeah. Fuck. Year 7. There was definitely some shit going on in year 7. And then 13, year 8, 14, year 9, 16, year 11, or 17. You can move a year forward with these, like 16, year 10, 17, year 11, 18, year 12. Holy fuck. This is not going to be fun. Jesus Christ. Do you know what the initial, my first initial thought was when I saw the look on my two-year-old fucking daughter's face. I was like, I need to get serious about Muay Thai. I need to get back down to kickboxing. I need to take some to the head because fucking, it's going to be a rocky road. Seriously, the reality of having a daughter hit me hard. I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm going to have to deal with this shit at some point. Like, I always knew in the back of my mind that I was going to have to deal with it, but it's something you put off to the future. You don't even want to think about it. And then your two-year-old daughter has like a baby crush on a four-year-old kid, and you're like, well, 10 years from now, I'm going to have to be dealing with shit. When do girls start paying attention to boys? Because I know boys start paying attention much later. They don't give a fuck. My son came back from school the other day and he said one of his friends asked him if he had a crush on anyone. And my son was like, I don't even know what a crush is. What are you talking about? And this little cunt's like, it's when you love someone. And I'm like, well, for starters, crush is not when you love someone. It's when you like someone. So you can go back and tell your fucking idiot friend to shut the fuck up. But apparently this kid has a crush on some girl in class. But this kid's also like a fucking little juvenile delinquent type as well. So I don't know what the fuck's going on there. So how old are they? He's seven and a half, that other kid. He's a year older than my son. So seven. I remember clearly in grade three, we were playing Chasey, like Tiggy, 
I don't know what people call it, tag or whatever. It was girls versus boys. And I remember just running as fast as I possibly could away from the girls because I didn't want to get caught by girls. That's fucking gross. And one of my friends, Edin, he was always like running real slow. (laughs) He was always running real slow, like deliberately getting caught by the girls. Like he'd have four girls on him, like tagging him or whatever. I'm like, why do you keep getting caught? And he's like, I love the girls, man. And all of us were like, you love the girls? Ugh, that is disgusting. And I just could not comprehend it. And then this girl who I went to primary school with, beautiful (laughs) fucking girl, Abby, she changed schools. And I was like, oh, she changed schools? So she's not going to be here every single day. News got around that Abby wasn't coming back and I was shattered and I didn't even realize I liked her. And that was like sometime in grade three. (laughs) So what's grade three? Grade three is like nine. So it was sometime in grade three or four where I went from being disgusted by girls to being heartbroken that one was leaving the school. So what age is that? Prep, five, grade one, six, grade two, seven, grade three, eight. Eight. Definitely nine. Grade four, nine. What the fuck? So it's not that far off. And probably the kids are more advanced these days as well. I don't know what the fuck the kids are getting up to. I had a girlfriend in grade six, Alicia, and I kissed her on the lips in grade six. (laughs) How fucking old is that? What the fuck is going on? I'm not fucking equipped to deal with this shit right now. I'm really going to have to start taking fucking jujitsu and Muay Thai fucking serious. I'm going to choke out some of these fucking 9, 10 year old cunts. Get the fuck away until you have a fucking university degree, you little cunts. You don't even write with a pen yet. Get the fuck out of here. I'm going to have to crack some primary head skulls. This is fucked. I'm not looking forward to that phase. That is not going to be a fucking exciting phase. Anyway, that will fucking do for tonight. If you're enjoying the podcast, give it a share around. And I'll see you the fuck later.